You can't beat me in just three minutes. Send me a thousand dollars and quit YouTube right now because there's a new Thanos in town. This is the Build Hack Battle, where we show you building hacks never before seen that will blow your mind. You in the comments decide who wins. If Gru gets minions, I'll want some of my own. Wouldn't hurt to have something protecting me from Ethan's TNT madness and done. I mean, that's basically what they are. Blue pants and yellow head. I'm gonna be making Huggy Wuggy. He hugs you to death. So let's make ourselves some Huggy Wuggy. Gotta be really, really foreboding. I didn't just Google that. I actually know that word. I, I have some brains sometimes. So let's add some arms here with our levers, item frame for the head, and of course we're gonna need an eye. Now, my idea is we could use a banner to do this. So we use a black die, put that around the top here, guys. Now, obviously, the eye is not that big, so we're gonna chuck white on either side. They have, like, the little frame for their eyeglass. Light gray die will probably be the best fit, so we'll fit that right around the side here and on the bottom as well. Oh, that is brilliant. And finally, guys, we just need to use the blue die for his pants. Let's grab that. Oh, that is brilliant. Look at that, guys. That is so dope, except he's missing some feet. So uh, let's not forget about those. We'll use a black banner here and blue die, and we'll chuck that right through the center. That should look pretty good. Hey, but still not enough to win us the competition, and we've got some extra time. And there are so many different variations of minions, so now I want to grab myself the mutated minion, the one that eats the jelly and goes... That man has so many teeth. Insert PNG here. That's what I'm making. Okay, we'll add in some levers there, uh, just like that. These are the crazy mutated minions, guys. But instead, this one's going to have a purple eye, so we'll use that top third there, guys. And then we'll chuck some white on either side, just like we did last time. Bam, bam, bam. And we need some light gray dye for the frame, so we'll grab that. And this one, ooh, I think we'll use... Okay, we'll use light gray dye for the center line again, but I want to use the normal gray dye for our base, our pants this time. Yeah, that's going to look great. Wonderful! Look at him! He's absolutely wild! I love it! I'm gonna make this siren head type stuff. This dude is terrifying! He has like a blue bow too, so I prepared this. Bup, bup, just like so. Problem with these minions, guys, is that they're, they're kind of big. Is there a way we can pull that off in Minecraft? There is! Using armor stands, guys! Oh, just that type! Alright, armor stand, piston, we're going to need a stone slab. The first thing we're gonna need to do, chuck down the dispenser, put the armor stand there, break a block, activate that. Now, this is gonna have our minion body, which we don't have yet. I need to grab one. Minecraft minion! Head. Don't let me down, Google. This is perfect. Copy that command. Place the command block down. Chuck in that command. Activate both of those. And boom, the body and the head. Okay, so we'll put the body on our bottom one here. Now, figure out the head. Look at that. All right, ready? And we go, bop, bam, boom. Look how creepy that is. That's so creepy, bro. Don't know if this doesn't work. I really hope it does because I do not have time to change this if it doesn't work out. Okay, so we're going to have a piston facing downwards here. Activate that and then please work. We're going to place our head right on the corner here. All right, come on and... <gasps> Yo, that looks so cool and it's adorable and actually the right size. Is that... No. It can't be. Yes, it's Huggy Wuggy. Why, Ethan? Why would you bring this to Minecraft? Look at it, Steve. It's literally staring at me. I'm going to have nightmare for weeks, man. Oh, does that mean you forfeit? Do you think I'm dumb? No, no. I'm just going to destroy it. It's just... No, Huggy Wuggy. Ah, Jordan, I see you've made Ethan 1, Ethan 2, and... <laughs> I give my stamp of approval. Oh, my goodness. I already know I'm winning this build battle, but Ethan doesn't seem to believe me, so I'm going to build a magical fortune ball to see into the future that I need rails going into the center. You'll see why in a minute. And a minecart. Place a few blocks just over here. It is time for me to ascend to the true god of Minecraft building, as I am. I'm going to be building wings. And not just any wings. Wings made of swords. Now, for this, I will need to be using the command block. The greatest block of all time. So, we're going to have to do some armor stand craziness. Now, I need a creeper. But not just any creeper. A charge creeper. Easiest way to do that. Chuck down a lightning rod. Wait for it to start thunder and pour. Okay. All right, Mr. Creeper. All right. You know what? You can sit in the minecart. Have a fun time in there. Grab a trident with the channeling enchantment and light him up. Boom! A charge creeper. All right. And push him all the way to the end. This is going to give us a super awesome magical effect. In Bang! Done! Incredible! All right, now we need the location of where this is going to be. All right, so we'll grab the coordinate. We'll go over here. This is the first one, right? Bop. Just like that. Literally just add another 15 to it. Bop, like so. Perfect. You want to go ahead and break all of these blocks here. Make you sure you don't forget about the rail hiding underneath the minecart. And of course, guys, we can change the weather back. To now with your end rods, guys, place these in all four corners. So chuck on quad stairs on each of our quads blocks and join these all up with... Oh, nope, not there. <laughs> join these up with the purple stair blocks. Now, 
It's not looking like much of a ball, so we need to change that. Grab out that quartz and some white stained glass. We're going to place those on top of each other. Now, we're going to utilize the beautiful double piston system. That is two pistons are facing downwards. Activate the first one. Yeah, bam. And the second one. And boom. Our creeper is now stuck. And it looks just like a magical fortune-telling ball. It's just grab yourself a splash potion of invisibility. And whoop, I am. Oh, no. Oh, my. Oh, good heavens. It's terrible. Huh? What? What's terrible? Your future. You're going to lose. Oh, no. You're going to lose the build battle and send me a thousand dollars. Ow, ow, ow. I am God. No, no, you're not. What do you mean? Ow, okay, again <laughs> with the punching, bro. What kind of Chill. god can be attacked, bro? Stop hurting God, please. <laughs> Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. And while we have built SpongeBob on the channel before, I want to build his house and his friends. So for the pineapple, we're going to use some honeycomb. And on top, the perfect thing you can use if we do slash set block and use a sweet berry bush. Normally, you find these in tiger biomes. And right now, it looks a little bit odd, but we use a little bit of bone meal. And boom, that is the perfect SpongeBob house. Jordan has underestimated me for the last time. And he will pay for this with his life and this build battle and the thousand dollars because I will be building a disaster. So I will be building a volcano. Volcanoes are really cool. We're gonna add some friends here, guys. You know, SpongeBob's not living alone. Place down one, two, three grindstones. You wanna make sure your grindstones are facing in this direction, and we're gonna go ahead and crouch and place an armor stand just on top of your grindstone there. Then crouch again, we're gonna click one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So he's in this dancing position. Give him an eye of ender. I'm gonna do the exact same thing on this front grindstone here. You place your things round like this. Needs to be a nice round shape. Slash slash curve stone. Three my branch tunnel. There we go. All right, so we'll do a sill. I might want to do sand, actually, and we'll probably do two. That way, it'll actually fall into place. Uh, basically, to get it up quickly, we're just going to use spheres like this. Easy, up, up, up. All right, let's clean this all up. Chuck the Eye of Ender into his hand, and now we need to get those together, because otherwise, that would be some very white blood eyes. And I would feel bad for anyone whose eyes were like... Bleh! So we're going to chuck down blocks of redstone inside and push those together. Gary the Snail is one of the SpongeBob's best friends. He's always hanging in the pineapple, so I thought it was the perfect fit. Add this warped stem block. I don't know. It just looks really great as the back of the snail. Then we're going to place a cut sandstone slab there. Place our piston there. Activate that. Push it in. We're going to ourselves the eyes and cover up that. And boom, Gary the Snail and SpongeBob's house. Combine that with SpongeBob from the last video, and you're set. Like that. Turn off that. Bang. And now for the very top bop, like so. All right, yay, volcano, scary. Eventually. How do you expect to win with a fancy rock? <laughs> all right, all right, it's a functional fancy rock, so I get extra style points, all right? Ready, Excuse watch me. this. What? Brace yourself, this volcano is going to erupt. Bop, bop, boom, Wait, bam, bro, wow. What, what did you and just do? That is a run of arrows! Holy flip! Bro, that was dope! I was okay, I was okay. You was... said it was dope, no, I, I win. Just... They're great, Jordan, but there's one mistake. In SpongeBob, they're underwater. Hey, no, bro, oh, you kidding me? Bro, look what you did to his eye. Bro, I'm canceled. We gotta get ready to jam to my victory song, baby. And I don't want any trash quality sound. No. So we've got jukebox so you can actually play music. There's an added bonus. A loom to insert the CD disc. Of course, a grindstone top. It actually looks like a record is being played inside your machine. Now, we want to obviously smooth out the edges. So we're going to start Bruce trap doors here. And they're also on the top, guys. So you can't see their jukeboxes. I've always wanted to be a dad. Wait, what? No, 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 not like that. I want to be a dad in Minecraft by making an egg incubator. I'm basically going to make some strange concoction come out of the egg and destroy the entire world. That's what I do. We're going to grab a black banner here, guys. We're going to use a gray dye. And then we're going to have, like, these things on the side, which, I don't know, like the speaker grills, and then that in the center for our speaker tweeter. And, yo, that looks so dope. But if you want something a bit more futuristic, you want something digital, we're going to use some black concrete here. Once again, jump back to our loom. We're going to put in our banner. And we want it to make it look like, you know, a bunch of those cool music lines. I, I don't know, all right? We're going to use magenta dye on the left. We're going to use light blue on the right. Chuck some green right around the outside there, guys. Then with our black dye, we're adding a bit of teeth on the top. You know, we want a bit of growl, a little bit of bite in there, guys. Uh, and finally, we're going to add black lines through the center just to split those all up. And finally, um, we'll use a black line in the center. And we'll chuck that on. Oh, look at that, guys. It looks like an equalizer. I think it's called, I don't know, it looks like music bars. All right, so what I'm going to basically do is just make some futuristic-looking egg incubator as a front. It's all going to be a trick, and Jordan won't know what hits him because they're then it's gonna hit him and bang, he'll be dead. All right, so this is gonna be the base of the incubator and I'm gonna have turtle eggs as my main 
source of uh, eggies. Here's some light blue glass for the futuristic look. But there is a block that looks just like a speaker, but it isn't in the creative inventory. I open up chat slash give space A with the spill around the ad symbol P and a structure underscore block hit enter. And look at this thing. It literally looks like a super epic base, man. Like that is so dope. All right, now we have all this done. It's time to make it functional. And by functional, I mean it's going to destroy the entire world with what creature comes out of these eggs. But hey, I'm a proud dad. Ethan's probably not even done. We've got plenty of time too. You know what? We're just going to jam to victory right now. Well, let's get a little bit of pig step going on, guys. Chuck that in. For many years, I have researched the Gigafart and Blabatrons, and I have come to the conclusion that Blab squared times Gigafart is the excess root of myself. So now I will create my son-in-law, King James Charles II. Ethan, even you don't have any clue what you just said. That I don't know, but I've done science. Okay. Bro, bro, this is the this is the, this is literally just a build. I can't do anything. Begin the incubation process. What?